Gemini, this is your week ahead tarot card reading by Born Without Boundaries Tarot. This is a message for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign, making peace. Making a truce, striking a peace. Somebody may want to make peace with you, or you are the peace bringer, as in you are ready now to make amends, forgive, and forget. But this is a, a balancing of sorts that's coming into your life, a sense of tranquility or um, the Holy Spirit and an actual blessing. So let's get into it. Gemini. This is your week ahead tarot card reading by Born Without Boundaries Tarot. It is a message for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is an energy reading, so please take it where and how it resonates in your life. It's your message. Um, it is a timeless message, so it comes to you when you are open and receptive and call it into you. That being said, there is a new message every single week for you here on Born Without Boundaries Tarot, so please be sure to subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so that you know when I upload your favorite content. Um, there is also an opportunity for you to get unlimited access to the extended readings if you join the BWOB membership here on the channel. Membership has a lot of benefits, um, most especially the unlimited access to the extended readings and the abundance share. And if you're curious about how that works, I am going to attach a link right above here so that you can watch that video and read all about it. Gemini. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost there. Everything seems to be falling into place. Be loyal to what you love. See, you're at peace with what's most important to you. Or you're making peace with a family member or they're making peace with you. Because this is Cancerian energy. But it's like you're restoring a sense of balance and tranquility in, in, in connecting with people that you care about. Or it's almost like... You're at peace now with what you believe and what is most important to you. No other obligations. But I honestly feel like this is, is more than that. This is that sense of either spending quality time with people or being around people that ground you and that you know that, that create a safe space for you or actually making peace with your children, your parents, some, some situation like that. And then we have time for a deep dive. So this is ready to love. Holy moly, you are going full in with this, Gemini. Full on family, full on partnership, seventh house, fourth house. Connectivity to moving forward with family, relationship. Um, or, or what? I still got to get more information. We have be at home. This is all, this is a lot of um, a Cancerian energy. Time for a deep dive. You're, you're, it's like, it's like you're ready to go all in. Okay. Well, let's, let's go to tarot. All into what? I mean, this is, this is very romantic, like peaceful wedding bells, um, all into let's make babies, let's be happy together, let's fall in love, or let's make amends, you know, let's just focus on love, just let's focus on connectivity, let's focus on, 
hold on, being left. So there was a dissonance maybe with a maternal figure. Or there was a disconnect when it came to a, a disconnect or a failure, if you will, when it came to having children or uh, creating, cre like re -cre reproducing of some sort. Um, or you felt defeated somehow because your abundance was taken away from you or somehow abundance was taken away. Um, it, it was attacked, if you will. Maybe even somebody that you cared about was attacked. Um, if not, it may not be physically, but simply in way, other ways that could have been important. It could have been financially. It could have been morally, ethically. There, there was just an energy of feeling like I've been reduced somehow. Like I am handicapped when it comes, not now, when it comes to being able to provide or create resources. And now we have this abundance coming back. This is nine of cups. So whoever stole or discredited you, Gemini, it didn't keep you down for long because your value, how, what, what, use that metaphorically however you want to, your value is being returned. You've found your own value. You have healed and you've kind of stood it stood everything back up on its feet. And so there is a peace in you and a willingness to make peace, maybe with this gold digger. Whoever would have compromised your position this way, this sense of I don't I don't like it, you you have no power over me anymore. Interesting. This could also be no, no. Five of five of swords is definitely like being cut down and being reduced to belittled, being belittled, uh, being defeated um, by multiple by multiple people, or you know, just being taken advantage of, or or not not winning, um, or whoever this person was, and maybe they didn't win. I know that there is this energy of they're back up on their feet. So there can be peace in a situation that was clearly quite uh, dissonant at one time. Um, somebody or both of you have moved on. And um, you're okay. You're okay, Gemini. You're okay being by yourself. You're okay uh, with, with yourself. Okay. <laughs> so all of this is happening this week. Eight of Swords. Okay, so this is Eight of Swords. So somebody who was isolated or left behind. Somebody's being given a second chance after being rejected. There was a lot of confusion, I think, that happened in the past when people were too immature or young to make a clear decision or things were concluded by what happened in the past or what you thought each other was based on what you knew of that person in the past. But it was like and and that's why there was just this like like uh, confusion or distraction or delusion uh because this was at a time when you were too naive to know better. And so there is giving somebody a new start, new beginning um, after a disconnect. So this could be another chance for you or another chance for them. If you've disconnected from this person because... There needs to be some, because there's now clarity or you're more mature at this point, could be both of you. Somebody definitely wants forgiveness. I don't know if it's you or them, but it's clearly on the table. Let's get a moon card. 
You know what's interesting, guys? Because Mercury is in retrograde, which I'm sure you know. Everybody's been talking about it. But you know what's interesting? I don't get that same feeling that I do with most Mercury retrogrades, where it's, everything's going to go be hog wild for a while and be off. It's almost like this is an off that we need because we had gotten things wrong. And it has to be addressed. Gemini. A fiery climax approaches full moon in Aries. We already had a full moon, but it's a full moon in Aries will come later on in the year in Libra season. So that's a time frame. And we have a new moon in Aries coming. It's the solar eclipse. So it's about six months out. A fiery climax approaches confronting this misconceived, ill-conceived concept from um, your past or your childhood where you grew up. Um, about why you weren't given a chance. I need, but I'm missing something. I'm missing something. What is that something that I'm missing, God? I, help me out, please. Page of Pentacles. This is a younger earth sign or a, a seed that was planted today. A new opportunity. What is that what I'm missing? What? Seven of Cups. There was some sort of confusion. A seed planted now is going to be confusing. There's some sort of confusion with regards to this new opportunity that's been offered or this new person in your life. There was some, there's some confusion here. Um, basically not liking any of the options or being dissatisfied with what you see or having, it's like wanting too much or having too much and never seeing anything that's right because it was this simple thing that was right. And maybe you missed that. I'm still not understanding. Can you please clarify, God? There's justice here. There may have been a legal decision. This Or this could be an actual Libra that you're dealing with. Uh, an Ace of Cups. It's somebody that you love very much. This is a partnership that you were really psyched about and you cared a lot about. It's like you want to pay somebody back or give somebody the love that you are sorry that you did not give them. Because you know that there's confusion with regards to it. And maybe they don't know. They don't know or they're not sure. Because there was always this ambiguity or disconnect. And now there's this act, great act of love and, and, and kind act or kind, kindness. It's like, but I do love you. I, I care about you. Uh, I want to be right by you or take care of you or do the right thing by you, um, to balance this out and make things fair. This is, this is, this is justice coming. It could even be a court decision that's come down that enables this generosity. Oh, what are you up to? Hold on. Let's let's get one of these cards. The There's a change in the wind. So you changed your mind about something or there's just a change. Oh, yeah. You changed, you changed your mind about something. You changed your thoughts about something or they've changed their thoughts about you. Um, or now there's a change in the wind and, the, and the, the pathways are open so that you can actually see things in a different way. That, that changes everything. And then we have a loyal heart and time to go. And that's what you're being inspired by, by somebody who's always been good and kind and committed. 
And it's like you're going to this person's defense or you're going to meet them or let them know that they're not alone or taken care of or um, or it's it's like a completion. It could even be like a completion of a cycle, this sense of I need you to know that I loved you, too, or somebody's doing this to you. I need you to know that I, I loved you, too. I was thinking about you. I did care about you so that I can finally relieve my own guilt, relieve my own sadness, relieve my own obligations. But I know I owe you this and I'll only be able to be at peace when I show you that I care and how much I care. Because if there's something here that, that the person wants to say I'm sorry they're so sorry for disregarding or degrading you somehow or you to them. Like they, it's like in some ways this person is, they're just coming through. I know I owe this to you. I just want to make this up to you. And it really is sincere. It's not, can I get something on the other side of it? It's sincerely, this is what I need. There is no other side of it. The other side of it is peace. Because without this, I can't have it. And I'm, I'm hearing this coming through. It may also be coming through from the other side. So this is really powerful. But this per, you, it's almost like they need you to know. They need to tell you. Or you need to tell them and you won't rest until you do. Let's let bygones be bygones. Let's... Let me make up for the ways that I hurt you because you didn't deserve that. And I, I know that you need my help right now. And it, it clearly, clearly there's dissatisfaction here or um, it's like, it is like somebody's coming through the veil of of a bunch of distortion and distraction. And they finally see clearly how disconnecting or leaving somebody alone was just the wrong answer. Be like, and, and they're, they're paying them back. They're paying, they're gonna pay what, this, this is an energy of somebody who needs to pay what they owe because they will not rest until they can do so. And that's why it's like, Let's say I love you so that I can finally let go. So I can finally fulfill this energy of why did I do this? Why did I behave this way? And then there is peace. And if so, if this is coming from the other side, this is the soul can finally cross over now. But it's coming through loud and clear that that's what it needs, whether they're living or not. Like it's, that's what it needs. It's like, please let me get this off my chest. Oh. Be gentle with yourself. You've been through a lot and need time to heal and recover. Somebody just wants you to know you're cared for and you're loved. And that you're protected and supported. And they're coming in with reinforcements to help you out. Let's go to the extended. Wow. I'll see you there, Gemini. I'll see you there.